Hey fellow humans, this is not a beauty channel. Or is it? Because the idea is to sort of film a minimal makeup challenge to at least give this some kind of goal to achieve while also just being a brand of a mentally unstable person or something. I'm sitting here at a slightly different angle, not that much because of the light, but because the cat is occupying my chair. So I'm sitting on the big ball that looks like you have just farted out a huge bubblegum bubble that you have also inflated with your <coughs> gases. Yeah. So I'll start with my foundation while complaining about my life because that's my life nowadays very complaint worthy basically things aren't good and it's not that I'm it's not that I'm developing any kind of mental health issues that would be so alarming but also I just feel like everything is just like going nowhere and it really sucks with my money and I'm the kind of person who always uh, only sticks to something for a short span of time and then I need to do something else and it's quite similar with oh she's looking at me funny what's your problem baby And my daily activities really reflect that, and it also means that it's quite a commitment not to touch my hair, and I know that I want to do this, so as I've said before, I'm growing it out, but since uh, there's all of this stagnation in my life, uh, it just feels like I need to do something or change something so I'm not changing my hair but I just feel like I completely understand why that's part of so many people's mental breakdowns. I haven't had a mental breakdown this year and I'm not planning to, I think I'm still very sane. What's this just interesting is that I realized that basically in my life I have had more friends who self-harmed or had some other really or had some other go-to which I never have had so that means that relatively in relation to all those people who are like really suffering and who are addicted to cutting themselves or starving themselves or consuming too much alcohol and everything. I'm just really very healthy and I really appreciate that. And it's it's quite an ego up because I'm coping without all of this. But at the same time it's not an ego up because it doesn't make me any better than those people. And at the same time... It's just not my style, so I don't really want to compliment myself on something that's not natural for me, I guess. I think I've developed a caffeine addiction. And it used to be the way that when I bought decaf because of my fresh tattoo, it worked the same way because I like the ritual of just turning on the kettle and making myself a cup of coffee or tea, uh, but now it feels like I'm not even capable of functioning anymore. And still, I just 
really like to stroke my ego and like the fact uh, that uh, most of the people I know were already addicted to caffeine at like 16, 17 and I quite hate this about myself so I don't know if any of you have this experience but uh, when you have so many friends who have these unhealthy coping mechanisms it makes you feel kind of like smug about not having those it's like yeah I'm suffering too but actually I'm capable of not hurting myself and that's that's just such bullshit. First off, I know how bad it is. I feel like I like I can't even complain to all my friends. They would listen to me. They would support me, but I just don't want to put the burden of my petty problems on somebody who has felt so bad that they don't care anymore about their self-preservation instinct. Uh, well, clearly I do have something to talk about here because I stopped doing my makeup but I really want to put on some makeup and I thought that would be the point but well actually I'm I'm kind of glad that I have something to go full on philosopher about yeah it's interesting how much pigmentation this eyeshadow has because it's supposed to be the same that was in the really bad palette that I had. And it's supposed to be the same shade as the grey one that I really hated, but this one's actually... It feels denser and more... more intense. I don't really see what I'm doing because I haven't brought a mirror and I'm relying on the display of my phone but that was the point anyway because I'm not going for anything precise I don't even have the tools for anything precise cause have I mentioned that I'm broke? well I'm broke I'm trying my hardest but I could get a, another job if I felt like I could manage all the time and that's not really the case with me because I always feel like there's no time like I have to fight like I have to do everything and as soon as possible because if I don't do it as soon as possible then I'm not going to be able to catch up with the deadline ever and that's not the case but just <laughs> Knowing how much everything stresses me out like that, I know that it would be really bad for me to get another job. I already have a job and most of all, most importantly, I am a student, right? And now, now that I'm writing my bachelor's thesis and I should be preparing for the finals anytime, I know how much time this is going to consume because it's just really hard and especially if you're doing linguistics. I think it would be worse for me if I did something that many people consider easier because it's more natural for me to study something that I love. So I still really do love it but it just feels time consuming even when I'm not doing anything. I already feel like I've lost all my hobbies because I don't feel like doing them simply because I need to rest and that really sucks and I I'm really hoping to get back into everything and catch up with everything basically. So uh, this was not supposed to be uh, that much of a rant but at the same time, there's nothing more to speak about nowadays than my real problems and I just really wanted to talk to the camera and try to connect with some of you. And this is 
the case of most uneven eyebrows that I've experienced in 21 years of my life. Yeah. Uh, I don't mind it being sloppy. I've already put on some sloppy... I can't even call this eyeshadow, I'm not sure what it is. But yeah, this is a challenge. I've already used up the palette that I really hated and then I found out that I'm not going to be able to afford anything better anytime soon. I do have some extra money but there's something I want more. And that's a very guilty pleasure for me because it's a, it's a punk rave item. So it's expensive because it's high quality but the, obviously the ethics are really shady even though the quality is high. I can't expect that they're ethical or sustainable or anything and I just really want it anyway. This one piece of clothing that would probably, I don't know, save my moods or something. I'm not even sure what I'm thinking. And these, these days nothing is changing and uh, nothing is really making me feel better. It's just all stagnation and boredom and laziness but at the same time all this stimulation and stress and so it it feels like maybe I should just eat all my money and save myself by buying it and then simply just starving to death no matter what and I've noticed that Lately, I've had these really weird thoughts that maybe if I didn't eat that much, I would save money. Uh, that's really sick. That's, that's really sick and unhealthy because food is like the first thing that you should think about when you get some money and it's the first thing that you have to buy. M maybe... Like, in the winter, it's more important to have warmth and everything, and obviously water comes before everything else, but we already got a place to live, and that's fine. That is taken care of every month, there's no problem with that, yeah. And, I don't know, it's really weird. And in reality... I really do eat a lot, but thinking about it and stressing about it makes me want to eat even more, so I don't really think that I'm going to really realize that plan of not eating. It's just that, I don't know, but my aesthetic needs, like it's a piece of clothing, so it's basically an aesthetic need, and it seems like they are unfulfilled also with my my tiredness and inability to pick up my brushes and pencils and stuff. Like it needs to be fed by consumption and that really sucks because I've always considered myself uh, more of a, an artist and a creator than consumer and I hate consumerism and the culture of consumerism and people generally consume too much and it's not just food <laughs> no pun intended it's it's also all of this aesthetic stuff and that's good because artists get uh, supported but um, most of the times it's not really, not really artists that get supported most of the times it's just the corporations that mass produce stuff that's really easy to buy because shit's cheap and you know where to find that shit so just go there and do a few clicks and you order some stuff off of Wish or, or something so you got like 20 mobile phone cases with cute cat ears and you got all kinds of 
all kinds of little things, but I'm not like that. I only sometimes buy things and they are of higher quality most of the times, but when I feel the need to buy something and I don't have the money, it's really frustrating and uh, yeah, that's what I've been dealing with. If you've got a similar experience, please do tell me. I'd like to connect because I got some people here. Most of them are from my country. Some of them are not. I just wonder who you guys are because I don't know. I feel like my my content is really specific. I'm not trying to have high quality audio and video and great awesome ideas that are also compatible with the mainstream and stuff. I'm basically just either vlogging crazy shit that I do with my friends or doing some rants which I don't really do anymore because I feel like just filming a vlog diary is a bit boring and self-centered and I admit to being self-centered but I'm sure nobody cares but uh, still this channel is one big madness and I I'm not trying to say that I'm not like the other girls I'm just trying to say that I know it's not for everybody and still some of you have stayed so there must be something personal about it that you may at least in in some aspects of your lives be like me and I've been lonely I'm not trying to make friends over the internet that's not how it works I just wonder who's here because I don't know who most of my subs are oh this is gonna be one very sloppy look yeah, so the challenges, basically. Before I finally use some money for some makeup, which is not a priority at all, this is what I'm stuck with for now. This is my very expensive, quiet, high quality fruit pigmented water foundation that I really love. I have done a review of this. This is a very old eyeshadow pencil that I use for my eyebrows. It doesn't match my hair at all. So I try to neutralize it with this blue one because this is a bit pinkish. So it still doesn't like it still doesn't match my hair. By far it probably like hasn't even seen the color of my hair from running train. <laughs> I mean but I'm just trying to work with what I got here. These are two liners from Al Verde. Sometimes when I go to to DM, I just uh, look into the discount section at some stuff that they need to get rid of, and I don't buy that stuff anymore. But a long, long time ago, I bought these two pencils, and they actually suck because. They keep breaking all the time, so it takes a really long time to sharpen them, and then all the pieces that fall off I can't use anymore. And this took me a long time to learn how to work with, because it felt like it left no trace at all on the skin. Now it does, maybe. Maybe this section that doesn't exist anymore was harder than this one. But uh, these are my three pencils. This is the eyeshadow that I also bought on the same occasion. And I really hate all of this cheap shit. And the next time my mother gives me something that she's no longer using, I'll just apologize and tell her to just eat it. No, I'm kidding. I think everything should be used. But... I'm just really sick of these, so I want to buy something good. And also, 
cruelty free and everything so I've looked at some makeup and we'll see where I go with that um, this is the one really good lipstick that I have I bought it a year ago or so I love this I'm not sure if I'm going to wear it today because I've got some histamine problems and my mouth is really dry, so this would probably feel horrible after a few hours. And I'm not returning home till about 9 p.m. Oh. But I'm gonna try to brighten my eyes. This is a bit sparkly, but not too much. I'm not sure whether to put it on my waterline, but not, that's not a good idea. Most people put on eyeliner and some dark shadow like this and this part as light light eyeshadow. I think this would actually work with me. But also my eyes, I feel like they really look good if I just leave them as they are. But right now I'm feeling like something a bit crazier. I'm gonna combine the grey with a bit of blue. I don't care too much. I thought I was going to do something. Something precise. Something just a little bit. Not really meticulous but... But artsy in a whole different way than I'm doing. Also I want I want to use some sharp lines. They don't really suit my face most of the time but if I combine them well maybe I could just add a little bit Um, what I like about these messy looks is that they're great without mascara because I don't have one. Please don't try to advise me to just go to the drugstore and buy some stuff just because I need a mascara and an eyeliner. I'd rather do without them than buy some kind of cheap low quality makeup that's being tested on animals. I can't be so sure even if I do my research because like, the only guarantee is the HCS certificate and most of those brands I simply cannot get in this country and the last time that I ordered something from the UK just the customs process was so so lengthy I I know it was before Christmas but even then I already got the package and according to the internet to the tracking it was still somewhere in Prague so I can't complain about that but what I'm complaining, complaining about is that I was supposed to pay a fee but I didn't because I got it directly into the mailbox although the postman or postwoman or whatever was supposed to ring our doorbell and take the money from me like ask for the money from me and that didn't happen we just got it so it really made me nervous because it was it turned out totally differently than it was supposed to happen and so I was I was really righteous about it and I went to the post office and they said that it was officially still in Prague so it the system wasn't asking any money of me so they didn't take any money from me so that's really good especially 
in relation to the current situation, but back then I did have the money. And I'm glad how it turned out, but it's just too much papering, too much mess and everything, and now that I don't even have the money, it just feels so, so, so much easier to to buy within my own country, or at least just the EU, but I couldn't find any good shops in the surrounding countries or in the countries further away that are part of the EU. I don't know. So I just decided to lower my standard a bit and just to 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 also tolerate and uh, be able to go with the brands that don't have the the HCS certificate that only have the PETA certificate and that should still mean they're cruelty free it's just not that much of a of a guarantee it's not it's not hard evidence really but it's still better than no certificate so I'm going to try one of those or maybe I don't know I was considering buying something from Jeffree Star because I know that they've acted like a racist fuck in the past and I would just I would just like kick him in the face for all that shit and this is not really this is not really how a human should act and everything and, uh, it really makes me angry but I don't know, uh, at the same time, the animals really are being abused and the animals really are in prison right now by the brands that, uh, not really necessarily by the brands, sometimes it's brands that that buy ingredients that are being tested somewhere else, but still. So those animals are suffering in real time while Jeffree Star has done something in the past and he's still being a prick about it because the apology was not really good but anyway I don't know I just feel like it's it's a bit different because his brand is not being racist I don't think it has ever been racist so I would just I just want to say that maybe like we separate good music from shitty artists, shitty as people. I think I might just do the same and buy something, but I don't know. I still prefer not to. Not because I want to cancel somebody. I still think it's really I don't think it's really, like, a hate crime. <laughs> so, I'm looking like a coal miner. Maybe these videos aren't so bad after all. My narcissistic ass sometimes watches their own old videos and I have found a lot of wisdom in them. So maybe somebody could be interested even in this. <laughs> That's a lot to expect, but whatever. I'm not going to edit my ass off on this, so it doesn't really hurt to just sit and have a little talk or would it hurt oh, it doesn't hurt me I've decided to put this on after all if it feels too dry I'll just wipe it off then it'll feel even drier because this one stays really well. But 
I don't know, I just, I just feel like it. And since we have to wear face masks and all, I don't wear my lipsticks as often as I could. Mm. The cemetery has failed on this point. Let me fix this. Have I overlined? Yes. Am I feeling bad about this? No. Am I feeling about the over overall look? Depends. I'm trying to focus. It doesn't need to be that sharp. I think this day is going to turn out fine. So that's very really good. And tomorrow. The spring semester has started and I have my first lectures on Wednesday, so I wonder how that is, because one of the subjects is really intimidating. And also it's at 6 p.m., so I wonder if I can get home or if I have to go and sleep there for one more night before I head home. But I just want to try to take the night train. And if it's not too delayed, I should be able to catch the last train that'll transport me home. They have changed the timetables like so drastically that everyone has to comply. Because right now, if you're going somewhere on a train and then you want to go by bus, you basically either either you've got like two minutes or you've got 40 minutes there's nothing in between in most of the villages in our district so that really sucks ass and so I discovered that the night train is not actually going because it is it departs uh, the same hour and minute that the train that I have to take first arrives so there's no chance of catching that but I discovered another option which is to get off earlier and then to get at another station and I should be able to catch it that way so I'm gonna try it and if I discover that uh, it's too stressful and that it's uh, and that's going to require for me to run with my bag or that maybe maybe if I just have some bad experience somebody suicidal just eats themselves on the railroad and uh, then I'm delayed and then I cannot catch the other one well I'm going to have to stay in the north for an extra night each week but hopefully the semester will be good although there's a lot of stress ahead and I'm not looking forward to that at all but if everything goes well I'm going to be successful and get a bachelor's degree which I am looking forward to because that's another way to pat myself on the shoulder and think how great I am. So here's to that. I'm spilling my coffee for you so you can see that I'm not faking that I'm drinking it. And as you can see, even with mm, 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 mm. 
six products you can make a really good makeup look because this is quite crazy and non-conventional non-conventional in that it has no mascara and no actual eyeliner but it does look good on me I like it I really like it and I love the way how the lips complement my my hair shade because I'm looking forward to shaving my head and then when it grows back I'll bleach it and I'll use some crazy colors and everything or maybe on the contrary I'll just dye it black but now that I've decided not to dye my hair I actually really appreciate my natural color because it's like in some kinds of light, it even looks greenish, and the lipstick is green, so it makes my hair, it makes the greenness in my hair stand out, and that's really weird, but there's something twisted about it that I like, like that I'm a green haired monster without having to dye it. It's funny, because I'm just blonde. I'm just blonde. There's no need to make of it what it's not but anyway I was I was going to stop recording so bye